Okay? I am going to mute myself, have I? No. Alright then, so just move a little bit further forward so you think you can see me. So let's start with our shoulders down. Keep your legs a little bit further apart than normal. And we're just going to go up and lower. Just go up and then as you come down, bring the toes towards you. Go up, bring the toes towards you. Up, bring the toes and the hands as well towards the shoulders as the toes come towards you. And eight, and seven. Got a lovely morning in the park again though. And four, and three, and two, and one, and then just come into deep squat. So deep squat, I'm just gonna come a little bit wider guys. And down, stick that bum to an imaginary wall. Let's do 15 of these. And for five, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Have you got your cagoules ready for tomorrow? Torrential rain in May, isn't it lovely? And again, keep going. And three. And two. And one. And then take it wide. And instead of a wood chop where we keep the leg nice and straight, I just want you to, as you go into it, bend one knee. So go in for ten. Make sure the knee's only a little bit bent so it just comes over the ankle bone. Just takes the pressure out of your back. If you're tight through the back. Three. Two, one. Now try it with a straight leg. And if it bothers you, come back into a softening of the knee. Three, four, four. And just notice if there's any tension in the hamstrings, the upper back leg muscles. And two, and one. And again, the other side. Soften, soften. So you're getting a little bit of rotation, whoop, she says, four, five, five, four, Jen, I'll have, Jen and Debs, I'll have to send you this message, uh, this picture of, um, oh you've seen it Debs, of Lucas, I'll send you it, uh, Jen, of him in the bath, it's super cute, two, three, four, four, three, two and one. Well done, just in case we found a little bit of tightness in the back. Let's reach super slow, almost like you're in slow motion. Reach two, reach three, reach four, four more, four, three, two, and one. Well done. And then just reach, slide the shoulder blades down, hold, just push into those feet. Feel the strength of the legs, push into that back foot as you come up. Take a breath in. Last one. Gently down, take it the other way. And again, breath in. And again, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one. Gently up. Well done, just keep there. Take the hips back, chin to chest, gently to the floor. Burn by burn. Need some more tension in the back legs or through the inner thighs. And then walk both hands either to one foot or to the shin if you can't reach the foot. Let the head hang go towards the thigh. Take a lovely breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. 
Try and make your breath quite deep. One more. To the other side. And again, breath in. And out. And in. And out. Last one in breath. And out. Back to center. And then just softly bring your feet back in. So back into parallel. Just hang there for a sec. Have a little rock forwards and back. Forwards and back. Keep rocking forwards and back, guys. I think someone's mic's not muted, Angela's. Sorry, hon. No problem. I could just hear you breathing. <laughs> Which is good. I want to hear you breathing. And then take a breath in. And soften the knees and slowly roll up. Oh, I always feel so good after it. And then come back into the other into that other side a um, little bit reach really think about reaching long and then circling high you almost get a little bit of a stretch laterally through them lat muscles I wonder why they're called that the latimus dorsi muscles because they're on the lateral side of the spine never thought about it and three two and one, and then just reach, take a shoulder slide down, take a breath in, gently bend, you can keep that front knee bent, or you can straighten it, whatever feels better, take a breath in, last one, Gently down, take it the other way, reach up, take a breath in through the nose. Last one. Gently back again. Then again, take the hips back, come on slowly down. And then just soften the knees, so bend the knees and straighten them. And you might not get palms down, guys. You might be on fingertips. So just bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. And again for two. For one. And then walk yourself back in again. And soften the knees. And slowly up. And just notice how the hamstrings are. Yeah, so many people seem to be very tight at the minute through their hammies. Okay, let's just now come to the edge of our mat and we're just going to walk it out for two just to get a bit of strength in these shoulders. If you don't want to hold plank, we're going to try and hold plank for about 30 seconds. If you don't want to hold plank, you can take your knees down and just draw your tummy in or you can go into a shell stretch. Yeah? So you shouldn't really have to watch. You all know what plank is. If you want to watch for a sec, just while I show you, the hips come backwards, you roll it down. That's your plank position, tight through the tummy. Or you can take the knees down, draw the belly in. Or lift the knees, it's a temporary one. You know, sorry, it's like a prep. So either that, down, draw the tummy in, shoulder blades uh, kind of come together, lift up through the breastbone. Or if you don't want to do any of that, you can go into that beautiful shell stretch. And I'll tell you when 30 seconds is up. If you're already down there, I apologise. Okay, if you're not, let's go chin to chest. Take the hips backwards. Oh, I've got some horrible little thing on my brow. And then gently down. Walk it out. So plank position, if you are doing it, the fingers are spread wide. Equal distance between the little fingers. You are not dropping through the breastbone. You're lifting nice and tall. Sending the heels towards the floor, draw in the belly in, and just really creating that strength through the 
shoulder muscles, so stability through the upper back, upper shoulder, the shoulder area, and obviously working the core. Keep holding for 10, 5. If you're in shell stretch, come back up if you can, or keep in shell for longer if you want. If not, walk it back, lengthening through again. Particularly good if you have tight hamstrings. On this next one, guys, we're going to keep it into plank or shell stretch, but we're not coming back up. Yeah, so we're going to do a bit of balance at the end today, see if our body likes it at the end. So chin to chest, take the hips backwards, gently, gently down. Letting the head hang. Feel that beautiful stretch. Did you get down a bit further that time? Walk it out. Either plank or knees down, draw the tummy in. Or lift the knees in a prep position or full plank. 30 seconds or shell stretch. If you want just to work on that lovely feeling of the lower back, then just go into a shell. It's your practice. And just hold, hold that position. Good, we've got another 10. And gently down on the knees, coming to big toes together. And sorry guys, you might have to move your camera, I apologise, that's the only thing we're walking out with zooms. And just try and get that bum as close to the heels as you can and your chest as close to the floor. And just hold for a good 30 seconds, taking some lovely deep breaths. Spine. 
Yeah, that'll work the core much, much better. Keep left, right leg nice and bent. Lift the left leg either in tabletop, so if you're prone to a lot of cramping in the hip, that might be better. Or straight leg, a little bit of flexion. You can take your arms out to just be like capital T. And I'm already shaking today. I did loads of abs done part this morning. So just hold. And then gently out to the side. Don't let the hips move. Lower. And back. Much easier to do this, guys. Yeah, but you're not doing anything other than mobilising the hip. So again, keep nice. Close your eyes. Think about it. Precision. Take the leg out. Don't let the tummy down, let it come down a bit, and back up. And again, when I send the recording, hopefully I'm doing this <laughs> right. You never get assessed yourself, do you, um, as a teacher, I guess. You should probably go to some people, some other trainers, just to make sure. But hopefully I feel like I'm keeping in neutral, but I'm having to work really hard not to rock. And then the other leg, take the leg in. This is harder than it looks, I always think, single leg when you're recruiting. And the other way. Inhale, centre. Exhale, round. And you'll notice that if you've got a straight leg, you do work quite hard in the hip crease as well. And... Relax, take that leg down and just let it fall out to the side. Just give it a nice little rub. Yeah. So if you are in neutral spine, you are really trying, bring it back in, not to rock from three to nine on the hips or six to twelve. Yeah, on a clock face, you sh this should feel quite challenging. Again, take the other leg up. Make sure you're not in imprint, but make sure you're not obviously arching. So nice neutral spine. And again, take it out to the side. You can have some softness in that knee if you prefer. Lower. And you want it to be about that pace. Exhale as you come out. Inhale back to centre. And again. And just notice, does it feel different? So this right leg, because I'm tighter through the right hamstrings, my hip feels fine in this one, the quads feel fine on that other one. I'm almost the opposite. Thighs are quite tight on the left side, so I found it harder to do this. And again, so again you can do it in tabletop. If you're doing it in tabletop, you're almost drawing a circle on the ceiling. And again. This is there, uh, this clicks this hip. Try not to rock as soon as you stop thinking about what you're doing. It's really easy to rock. And two. And one. Well done, let it flop. Give it a nice little rub. And now we're going to stabilise through the hips. Yeah, so come into do some bridges. So walk your feet a little bit close to your bum. Now I was saying to um, my, last night in my class that I had a one-to-one -one with the girls. That was, she's lovely. She does one of my corporate classes, and I thought I cued really well. <laughs> you know what it's like, Jen. You think your instructions are great as a teacher, but then you're like, actually, maybe they're not. So, when I got her into, she cycles a lot and she came to get some postural advice and a massage and I got her to do a bridge for me and her bridge was like this, just watch for a sec guys, her bridge was like that. Okay, this is pretty much how yoga people do it and we don't, you're pretty much resting on your neck almost and it's very hard, what happens is then ribs come up and out a little bit and what also happens is the back starts to arch. So it's a horrible position, I think. So we come further down where we're just teetering kind of on the shoulder blades. The hips are high and the knees are long, but we're not up here. So just go easy with the bridge, yeah? So walk your feet towards your bum. 
Take a breath in through the nose. Close your eyes and just imagine that little grape underneath the lumbar spine. You're going to spill the drinks into your belly button as you squish the lower back onto the mat. And then we're going to softly start lifting the spine. Yeah. And you think about sending the hips high, but not the rib cage. And then send the knees long. Yeah, so you've got this really nice ski slope going on, not that doming of the tummy. And just hold, just to strengthen the legs. Take some lovely breaths in. And out. In. And out. Last one, breath in. And slowly lower. Bone by bone. Close your eyes. We want to send all those lovely messages to the brain. So our we move well. Okay, let's go again. Let's take a breath in. Gently roll the lower back into the mat. If you can, bring your arms with you, but don't let the ribs come away. So keep the ribs down. So it might be that you just want to go to there, send the hips high, the knees long. Or if you can bring them over, you can do, without the ribs coming. Yeah, take a breath in. And out. And in. And out. Last one, breath in. Slowly down. Oh, my thighs are really, my thighs are so tight, Chloe. We might just do an abdominal bar class. And then gently down. Good. On the next one, we're going to progress it. If you like the feeling of bridge and you want more mobility, more joint movement, continue just coming up and down. Or we're going to go into a little bit more strength. So take a breath in through the nose. Again, gently roll the lower back into the mat. Start lifting your bum. Close your eyes. Feel the movement. Gently sending the hips high, the knees along. And we're just going to do first level, so keep the core engaged. You might need to squeeze the bum a little bit to give you that stability through the back area. Lift the right heel and lower. Lift the left heel and lower. Pam, I hope you're still with me, honey. I always panic and think, oh, is Pam Wi-Fi gone off? And again, come up. Not long now, I mean, you can come to class. And again. And for four. For three. So I'm still going to do Zoom. I sent you the timetable, didn't I, guys? Anyone I've not sent? Jen, just let me know, sweet. I don't know if I've posted you in it. Um, so even though it might say Zoom only, if our person wants to come to class, just let me know. You can do. It's no problem. It's just this class was too big to get everyone in, obviously. Take a breath in. And slowly down. But I know some people really want to still do Zoom and others really struggle with kind of Wi-Fi and hearing and stuff. And gently down. Oh, well done. Let's do one more. We'll progress it if you want. Or go back to the heel raise or just keep rolling. Take a breath in. Gently roll the lower back into the mat, come on up, bring yourself up into that bridge, send it high, take your hands on your hip bones, push the right foot into the mat, either lift the left heel or the left, like that, hold, so if you're lifting heels just go opposite, left and right, hold for a bit longer, and lower, push that foot in, hopefully you're not dropping through the hip bone, lift again, hold, and 
Lower with control. And again, push in. Lift. Hold. And lower. With control. And again, push in. Lift. Hold. And lower. Next one, we're going to progress it even more. We're going to lift. We're going to straighten, flex the foot. We're going to bring it down to the knee for four and up. So three, up. So two, you can just roll up and down, obviously, or just heel raise. Drop, push that foot in, lift up, straighten, flex. One, two, three, four, soften. Take a breath in. Ah, slowly down. Oh, you're your Okay, well done. Let's do a few little back stretches before we do some roll-ups. So glue your legs together. Take the knees in one direction, the head to the other. Take a breath in, let the belly rise. Exhale, draw the tummy in, back to centre, the other direction, inhale, let the belly rise, exhale, draw the tummy in, back to centre, two more, take the knees over, inhale, let the belly rise, Exhale, draw the belly in, back to centre, the other side, inhale, let the belly rise, out breath, back to centre, last one, just in case you've got a little bit of tightness in the back, inhale, let the belly rise, exhale, draw the belly in, Back to centre and the other direction. Inhale. And, and back. So, just like we always do, guys, just in case people don't roll up, it's just not their thing, uh, for whatever reason, we'll work on the core first and you can continue doing this one if you don't want to do roll up. So take your, in fact, I'll show you two, another two things to do if you don't want to do roll up. So interlink the fingers, take the elbows out onto the floor. Make sure you're not squashing the back in. So you want to be in neutral spine, the rib cage is closed. Really just close your eyes and really think about what the back is looking like on the mat. So the ribs are down, the shoulder blades are down. You should have a tiny little gap underneath the lower back. And then your bum is obviously on the mat. And I want you to try and keep that position. So when you lift up into chest lift, don't push the lower back in. So lift up. And lower, not quite to the floor. Lift, keep your elbows in your peripheral. They're not moving. And lower. You should feel everything tightening. Imagine my hand is underneath your back and you are not squashing it. And back. Lift up, so it's almost like a little pulse. And back. And again. And back. And again. And then I want you to do the same, but lift the right leg a little bit, just an inch or two. And lower. Lift the left. And lower. And again. And lower. And again. And then all the way down. So if you want, if you feel like everything tightening, so if you're more worried about thinking, actually, I really want to work through that core, then that is a really nice move to do. APPI teach that quite a lot and it gets everything tight. If you want a little bit more mobility and flow, then we'll go into roll up. So either repeat what I've just done, eight lifts and then eight little ones, or Coming to roll up. So we roll up, take a breath in, 
little chin towards the chest and gently forward re-stack up and again I'm laughing, Chloe, because we did um, we did plank knee-ins today, but we did it for the length of time that someone was running the steps, and it was Susie, and she walked down them. Oh gosh, I obviously have never done knee-ins for that length of time because my abdominals are a little bit sore. And again. Forwards, restack, gently down. Remember, you can always just keep going, guys. You can always use your band around your foot. Yeah, I'll just show you just in case you forgot and you watch it later on in the recording. Yeah, so the band can always come like this. Yeah, you want to hold it quite far down, gently down. I only come to there, so you need to be really careful with the neck. And then gently up. If you want a little stretch, you can pull forward. Or just... It's not cheating, it just gives you a little bit of movement. So you can do that. Or Susie and quite a few of my other clients used to love putting the ball there. It feels a bit weird at first because you're going into full kind of extension. But it gives you that little bit of momentum. Not momentum, just a little bit of help. I'd love to say I invented this one. We were taught with it there, but actually an American Pilates teacher had had abdominal surgery and she couldn't get in, up into roll-up anymore without the help of this. And slowly, obviously, she got there. And just do another two, wherever you are. And oh, and relax. Well done. We're just going to do some single leg stretches. I'm going to get on my roller because my lovely little Chloe has headaches today, and that, a lot of that's to do with neck tension and shoulder area. Um, so yeah, I always like to do shoulders on the roller or on the mat, but we're going to do single leg abdominal work first. If you don't want to go on your roller, then just do it on the floor. So a little chin nod. Again, always think about your positioning. Ribs down, little gap. Can you see my finger gets underneath my lumbar spine, but then my ribs are pretty much down. And then take the right leg up and the left leg. So just do exactly the same if you're on the mat. Push your ribs down. We did double leg stretches today in class, but um, it can be a bit hard on the neck now. Nice and slow to start with. Two lots of eight. For seven. Should be no movement in the back. But particularly when you go out, you don't want the pubic bone to wedge forward and the imaginary drinks fall into the mat. And when you bring the leg back, you don't want to squish the back into the mat. Seven, eight, one more set of eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, and if we can, keep that core engaged, double timer. For eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, and for one. Gently down. Oh, lovely. Take the soles of the feet together. This class always goes quick. It's like my Wednesday one. Just take him side, sort of like you're going to a butterfly. 
If we run out of time to do side leg, then feel free to do it after class. Okay, let's just do a little, we should be alright actually. Let's just do a little bit through the neck. So chin towards the chest. Gently take right ear, right shoulder. Back to centre. Left ear, left shoulder. Back to centre. Right ear, right shoulder. Back to centre. And then just go easy as you take chin towards the ceiling, chin towards the chest, chin to ceiling, chin to chest, chin to ceiling, chin to chest. And then just to neutral and then just a couple of little circles. Like I've mentioned before, I think circles feel so much nicer when your head's supported than when you do them stood up. And back. And for all of you out there that have shoulder issues, which is pretty much most of the population at the minute, just take right arm up and just use your shoulder muscles and your pec muscles. So we're going to take out, yeah, shortening the front of the chest, working uh, the chest muscles and then retract, working the traps. And again, two, three, four, five, six, and down. And again, any pumping action of the muscular system is really good for lymph drainage. Yes, yeah, so your lymphatic system, which is obviously works to help the immune system. And again, good. Both together, scissor. Scissor back. Again, watch the ribs, they'll come with you. Don't go into pain. Notice the inconsistencies that you may have in each side. Good. Back up. Out. Back. Out. Back. Out. Back. And then take them both over. So if you would like a bird's eye view, you'd be like kind of like a, I suppose like a, an eye shape, I guess, as in the letter I. And then bring them slightly out so it'd be like a Y. Does that make sense? And then all the way into like a T. And then back up again. Take it over. Out a little bit. Into a Y, capital Y, into a capital T. And then back. And again. And again. And out. And then back. One more. Anyone else have any visualisations, you know, just send them, request them through. And then this way. I used to work, did my Pilates training with a lady. She was a maths teacher, actually. She was absolutely lovely. She had the softest voice. She used to send me to sleep, just queuing. And um, she was an amazing artist. And she used to do all stigmen for, like, the different shapes. You know, so a stick man for bridge, a stick or stick person, um, a stick person for plank, all roll-ups. They were just fantastic. I tried to do it. It was like a comedy sketch. It was just like, yeah, I'm a terrible, terrible artist. And last one. And beautiful. And then gently come off if you're on your roller and we'll just do, we've got a little bit of time to do a little bit of cycling. So come over, um, yeah, I'm always tired on a Friday, so I always do my little cheaty one. So it's not cheating really, but just I'm bending the bottom knee, lifting the bottom waist. I've got blue on blue again, which is not very good. I would fail a teaching assessment for this. Um, but yeah, I have got a gap there, I promise. Or you can take both legs, in fact I'll do this, both legs 
Hip stat, knee stat, ankle stat. Lift up and lower. Keep lifting and lowering. I'm going to move. I'm going to take. I'm going to have a nice green mat. Just for those that are watching on a recording later, you might be able to see the gap better. And if people are colour blind, it's not good to have colour on colour. Did you used to be a teacher? You know? <laughs> a real teacher, not teaching all this lovely stuff. And again, keep lifting. Yeah, Jim, I don't know if I told you. I don't think I will. I don't. I woke up on Saturday morning to my old boss offering my old job back teaching law. Obviously, he said you'd have to apply for it, Joe, but we'd really like you back. I'm like, oh, forget that. No, thank you. Why would I leave my lovely clients for a load of police officers? And again, eight, seven. Look what happened last time Jen I worked for the police. I ended up marrying one of them. <laughs> and four, and three, and two, and one. Hold it, lengthen it again. If you need a little bit of balance, bend that bottom knee. Otherwise, circle for six, circle for five, circle for four, circle for three, circle for two, circle for one, and the other way. Six, five, four, One, hold, lengthen, pulse for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then just before we leave that one, bend that bottom knee, take that top leg, lengthen it back so you're getting a little bit of a stretch for the hip flexors, the psoas. Lift one, lift two, lift three, lift four, lift four. Four, lift three, lift two, lift one. Well done. We always seem to do side leg at the end. I have to do it at the beginning next week so we get a lot more reps in. Just pull that thigh back. the other day, Jude had English and physics in the same day. I said, how did you go? He went, I didn't realise I had English one. I thought we were on Friday. I'm like, what? So yeah, Jen, maybe you won't be doing this because you'll be on chosen English here, level. Okay, come the other way. It's chosen media though, so I might be calling on you. And lift and lower. Lift for two. And for three, and for four, five, six, so you should hopefully see that gap, seven, eight, nine, ten, and again for ten, nine, eight, you can take it over if you want, seven, but sometimes that can pull that shoulder up, so just be careful when you do do it. If you feel any kind of impingement, then take it back down. Hold, circle six, circle five, circle four, circle three, two, one, circle back, six, five, four, three, two, one, stretch the hip flexors a little bit. Try not to arch the back, so just make sure that you're not arching the back when you do it as well, like that. Hips are level. Drop, lift, ten. Don't drop the bottom waist though as well. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. I'll just say a little shout out to Julie. I said hello to Julie Fridge. I know she always does the recording. Is Ruth on? I didn't know it's actually. Oh, Ruth said she was on 
to the, she might have sent me a message. Same hand, either that one, figure four straight. 